Before we start this video, I wanted to invite you to our second annual fan meetup. It's going to be very similar to what we had last year. It's at Eagle Village Park. It's from 11 o'clock a.m. to 2 p.m. Some of you were there last year. It was a great time. The Eagle Police Department actually puts it on and they have some of their guys watch the channel and they invite us out to come. Last year went really good, so they invited us back again. This year, you see the address down there below. I think most of the guys will be coming. I'm not sure they'll all be there, but the majority of the crew will be there. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have the shirts and the hoodies for sale and they have free food there. There's no charge. As long as the food lasts, it is free. The police will have some of their um, some of their vehicles and some of their equipment. The military brings some of their vehicles and equipment. It's pretty cool. They have stuff for kids. It's a good time. It's not just for us. It's for them as well. So come on out and join us and we'll have some fun. Good morning it is 5 45 i'm just getting ready to leave for work today we're starting a new project it is at a daycare center and basically it's a little driveway in the back of the property that goes from uh, an existing sidewalk to an existing patio it's pretty simple it's nine foot wide 70 foot long uh, we're going to dig it out today set it up and that's going to be it for today we're going to get off early tomorrow we're going to pour it and then i decided tomorrow afternoon and friday i'm not going to start another project although i do have a couple that we could do some small stuff uh, we're going to go over to the land and i want to pour a cap over the concrete that's in that little concrete building that i have because right now it is really sloped uh, to the left and i want to get that leveled out get that all cleaned out so we can start putting stuff in there all right i'm going to take this trash out i will see you guys at the coffee shop how much garbage do we make Good work. She even helped slam the lid down today. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Oh. <laughs> Let me see if I probably got some money in my truck. Hang on. All right. How did I forget my wallet? Oh, I know why. I know why. Hopefully I can dig some cash out of my truck. At least for the coffee. There's got to be a five laying around in there somewhere. There's something. Something. Five bucks. No, oh, coffee it is. I only got five dollars, so let's go with the coffee. Oh, what do you want to? Well, what's this? How much is this? That's $1.99. So I probably got enough for that and that, which would be great. I got the 40 I'll get the dollar for you. You're good. You sure? Yeah, we can change for people. Thank yeah, you I so a, much. I have a 10-hour shift. <laughs> All right, have okay, a great day. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was very nice of her. 618, just pulling into the yard. Bugs is right behind me. He's here. He's just walking in from the road. Nothing special on this job. It's just nine foot wide, 70 feet long, straight shot. The only thing we gotta be careful of is the utilities. Uh, the internet and electrical run right under where we're digging. So I had the utilities marked, so we're gonna try to hand locate them before I start digging anything up with the Bobcat because we absolutely cannot take the internet down. It's a, it's a big childcare facility. It's not just this little thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure that they would be very upset if they lost the internet today. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hi, don't jump though. Don't jump. She's so excited today. Why are you so excited? Oh, man. Another lumpus. Oh, man. Lumpus. All right, well, I'm going to grab a skid loader. Your truck? No. Why? Seems like somebody drove it. Somebody drive it? Not that I know of. Your drum box was open. 
the glove box was open? Yeah. Oh, that's Ryan, but I don't think so. It's possible. I didn't see nothing on the cameras. Maybe Bugs is losing it. Don't look like anybody took the truck anywhere. Just him. Morning, Big Ray. How are you? Good. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Why are you so tired yesterday? Uh, no, I was too tired. I'm tired today. Oh, I, man. I slept at 120. Yeah? I, went, I, I had a lot of stuff to do tonight. Morning. Morning, Eric. Oh, no. Hey, did you move uh, Bug's truck or anything yesterday? No. I took the phone truck. Did you use Bug's truck or move it at all yesterday? Nope. Eric, you didn't move Bug's truck at all yesterday? I mean, I opened a glove box. I thought I closed it. Oh, see now, <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere I now. I just knew somebody <laughs> was in there. That's all I know. Uh -huh. I got my keys and my stuff that was in the glove uh, box. That's morning, it. I Tino. I didn't move no seat. I didn't move no seat. Ah, uh, we gotta get all this stuff out here anyway. Right here. Right. Tino, give me a hand with all this garbage. Thank you. Saw from the 4th of July. You like it, 200, 150. Yeah, I know. Seriously. 200. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Imagine that. What are you doing? Making preparations for your side work? No, I'm ready. Oh, you got the key for that? I like my key in there. You're going crazy, brother. I know. <laughs> Brian, Brian just paints everything. Green. <laughs> He's the only one that uses it. <laughs> he showed. What did you paint? Oh, so he shows me a picture last night of the rake, his steel rake. It's all painted green already, and he's like, "Dad, how much you want for this? I got it from the attic." So he took my <laughs> he took my rake out of the attic, painted it green, put it on the trailer. And, and then asked ask me how much I want for it. <laughs> no, I no I like, he, just, he just paints stuff first before he even asks. Like, this is mine. Just paint it. Yeah, paint, paints the Bobcat, trailer, <laughs> Mac. I want this. <laughs> Your truck. <laughs> yeah. Green stripes on everything. Okay, I just pulled up. And I got to let these guys know where to park. It's going to get busy here. Kids are starting to come in soon. Was Tino sleeping in there? Tell me the truth. Yeah, he was sleeping. At least you're honest. So right back there by my truck, park on the left side though, the far left side for now. Where's Ryan? Oh, he was still making preparations for a side job. Yeah. Ryan, where are you? There he is. There he is. He's coming. Says no parking anytime, but we gotta park here, sorry. We'll break the rules for half a day. Right in front of the no parking sign. Yep, just this whole thing here. Man, they put brand new sod? Yeah, right. That's not gonna last. We got a water. Hopefully that's it's not the water. It's too much shade right there for yeah, sod. That... It's all Kentucky bluegrass and it doesn't grow well there. It needs full sun. So we got to dig. We got to dig right here, way down. Try to find the internet and dig down in there and make sure that we're not going to hit anything. Uh, grab it, go grab it. There's a couple shovels on the trailer. We can start doing that now because you know Eric and Francisco will be a while. You can stay here, Tino. He's just getting a couple shovels. Eric's going to get excited when he sees this. We're gonna have to dig this side down quite a bit. There's a hump right here. I'm gonna have to take a foot out of there, right where that hump is. The thing I'm worried about right now is this water's gonna come back this way, and once it hits here, do these have any pitch going that way? Because it does not look like it. I can't have a big pool of water sitting right here. Just start digging here. We gotta dig a big hole. We can't break the internet here. Yeah, loosen it up. Somewhere in here, huh? Yeah. Wow, it's two Fantab. inches. Two inches under the ground. Oh, that was awesome. That Three was inches great. under the ground. Come on, man. How do these guys do this? Look at that. Two inches. That's the internet. Now let's get this side.
Internet. Really bossy. Who is? Gibson. Oh, Daniel? Oh, yeah. He was guess his glasses. He was, you know, he was like, <laughs> Dino! <laughs> he went like that. I was like, I was like, okay, I get it, you know. Yeah. We work it. I was like, okay, I hold it. So then I was like, yes, sir. I was like, um, when you do this, you gotta do it a little slow. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, no. That's a problem. That's a problem. This has settled so much it lost all its pitch and it's sitting here. It's going this way. So when this comes here, it's going to form a big pool of water. See, once it hits this one, it's got good pitch again. We're going to have to take out some of this. No, they just wanted this done. We're probably going to, we're going to have to. I mean, they could have this mud jacked at some point, but for what we're doing, we're going to have to cut it here at least here and then here and take this out because all this water is just going to sit here it's going backwards well yeah i mean we could start replacing all kinds of stuff but just to accommodate what we need to do we need to take that out oh you're all excited because there's play sets and basketball hoops your size <laughs> we get eric the play sets for you you're all excited i told you he's going to be excited yeah. <laughs> all right i'm just going to put some pins in here and see what we can do I'm really curious on the elevation. I don't think I have to dig much here, so I think we'll be okay with that line. All right, let's see what we got. I hope it has enough pitch going that way. It looks pretty close. Every kind of it's just got a tiny bit of pitch going that way. I mean, a tiny bit of pitch. I think what I'm gonna do is continue the slope of this for one more joint. Then I can raise it up another couple inches and get more pitch. He's gonna have to do something with his gates. Did you just use a bathroom in there too? It literally, as soon as we pull up, everybody's in the bathroom. <sighs> Just making a bad impression inside. I had to try to look good. Because, you know, the guys I met with were all dressed nice, their hair done. I can't come up. Imagine if I came with all the release on me. <laughs> so anyways, I met with the guys. And they were like, yeah, it looks good. We could do these buildings and you can make four. That's fine. You can do steel construction. That looks good. You can put two extra entrances. So now it's just a matter of making the full plan. Yeah, everything was good. They want the landscaping. They want to show every flower. They want to have, uh, it's got to be on the drawing. Yeah, they want to, they want to know what each plant is, what species. Oh yeah. Yep. The sea, sea, sea water, yep. Tell him about the over he there. said no sea turtles because they're uh, endangered. Oh, they are? Yeah. But yeah, the dolphins and the whale are going to be fine, he said. <laughs> the whale? <laughs> 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 Eric said, imagine how many wheels the trailer would have to have for a whale. <laughs> <laughs> how many Peter builds are pulling that? I ain't chained up like oversized load. Hey, all the, all the way the from cities. Florida all the way to here. <laughs> And they gotta have a water tank, somebody spraying it down the whole ride. That'd be so crazy, dude. <laughs> Man, yeah, how, how many car helicopters? Oh, <laughs> what if we just built a big glass tank to fit it? Yeah. And then put that on a trailer. And then we put water in it all. On the freeway. The whale off. don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> the whale rolls off on the freeway. <laughs> the whale's like okay. around on the freeway. <laughs> Imagine if you've seen a whale on a freeway in the middle of Tennessee. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call the customer and ask him what he wants to do with this. He can either have it mud jacked or we can replace it. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Hey, so uh, we're about to get started. We ran the lines and everything. I took the gates off the fence because they're kind of in the way. And you're going to have to raise them up quite a bit anyway. And then the existing concrete where it meets up with the sidewalk in the courtyard, 
Yep. Are you planning on having that mud jacked or what's the plan there? Cause it's like, it's really settled. So when the water comes down and lands on the existing concrete, it's just gonna pool. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what we got to do that'd be fine um, we can get a jacker and do that yeah i mean it's not a big deal i'll just put i'll put felt in between the new and the old so when they mud jacket it, i'm not going to put any rebar or anything obviously in between the two so they can easily pump it up to where it needs to be okay sounds good i'll leave mine a little high so when they do it it'll when they pump it up if they get it to match mine it'll be perfect yep I okay think so. we should be good all right sounds good thank you everything else should be good to go ray i'm gonna have you um once you guys are, you got this side cut too? Yeah. Once you got a cut, take these strings down. Ray, I'm gonna have you um come right over to this side. Yeah, right there. And then I'll just spin here so we don't spin up and tear up the parking lot. All right, I'm gonna dig the, dig the low side first. Dig down a foot right here, right here between here and here, just to make sure. This should be buried way deep, because that's electric, but I just wanna make sure. If you light up like a Christmas tree, we know. Oh, I thought that was power line already. <laughs> I don't know. I just ran into something the very first second I put the bucket down. Look. I don't know. Nah, it's not water. I think it's just the, um, it's the thing for the gate, to, but they don't have that kind of gate. Yeah, we'll just take it out. They don't even have that kind of gate. Oh, they, yeah, they do. They do. But he'll have to drill a new one in. I mean, this is kind of excessive. Just just for that. Yeah, I know. No way. Right away, man. How is that? Well, it's right there looking on yeah i dug it up because i wanted to see it and then i hit that i got discombobulated and then i hit it man i just had a mental lapse mental lapse mind on something else hi we're working over here in new berlin and it's a active child care center and we hit the, the cable line which was like two inches under the grass and I really need to get it patched together like ASAP because it's a it's a child care center and they run off the internet. On hold for a long time. I just talked to the lady inside and I effectively really made her mad. It's a, it's a big child care facility. It's not just this little thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure that they would be very upset if they lost the internet today. <laughs> because everything she said runs on the internet, including all the access control doors and everything so she is frustrated and so am i i thought this was going to be super easy i had a mental lapse man obviously we dug up the line i knew it was there put the bucket on it first thing and i called charter and they can't find the account the lady just came out and gave me the uh, account number it is spectrum for some reason he couldn't find it but i got the account number now so eric finish this out to the pin there just digging like i'm digging and then and then come around this way and hit this here too so uh, i really try need to try to get this uh severed line patch back together as soon as possible it's a really easy fix too. Both ends are out and it's just, you just gotta put them back together. It's it's all open, so. All right, so I just talked to Spectrum, which is the internet company, and they can't get anybody out here till four o'clock. And I told them that wasn't good enough. So they're gonna have their dispatcher call me within 30 minutes and see if they can get anybody out here faster than that. And this day was supposed to be easy breezy. You can stay in there for stay in there for a minute because I gotta talk to the lady again. Bugs is here. Hi Jay. Bugs, I would put her uh I'll put her on that side of the bushes so they can't see her. On that side of the yeah, bushes? Yeah, because it's a daycare. They're gonna okay. freak out if they see a pit bull. Yeah, if you just put her back there, they it's can't see her. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Man, one thing I didn't want to do here is hit the internet line. Guess what? I caught the internet line. The, all their access control, everything in the building is run on internet, so they're a bit mad at me right now. Yeah. 
What is all this? I don't know. And then uh, there was a two foot stamp we left there. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. It's leaking hydraulic fluid. Almost looks like it's coming out of the filter. Maybe the filter is just loose. Or one of these fittings on the top. Not that one. Have to look at that later. I gotta talk to the lady. Yep. And if you want to, if you wanted to communicate too, it's a super easy fix. It's just laying there. They just gotta connect it. The, it's long enough. It just needs a really quick connect. So Spectrum's gonna try to get here as soon as possible, whatever that means. Go dump that and get gravel, please. You gotta raise this one up a little, Ryan. So I had to make an adjustment. That's super awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Okay, that was Spectrum on the phone, and they're sending somebody out right now. She said he'll be here in like 20 minutes. So that is a huge relief. Huge relief. She was not happy, man. Oh. The lady. Oh, the, the one that came out? Yeah. Well, she was okay when she came out, but when I first went in, she was definitely not happy. She's like, because of this, they have no internet. So all their access control, all their doors right now, any kid can run out. None of them are locked. Why'd you cut it? It was an accident, well, clearly. Do you think I did it on purpose? Yeah, all the kids right now, they could just run out. <laughs> they can, Eric. The door's wide open in the front. Yeah, Eric. <laughs> what is, what is <laughs> We're running all over, chasing kids through the woods. Eric's like, get over here. The, the, Jay's dragging a kid back in by the, by the uh, shirt. Oh, that would be so bad. <laughs> Jay's like, got him. Oh, I'm gonna tell the lady she's gonna be happy about this. I talked to the biller this morning. Oh, I just talked to him a little while ago on the phone. It takes three to five weeks just to get a bid. Just to get a bid? Yes. Wow. That's like my customers. Yeah. <laughs> he said the bid is 30 pages long. Because oh, all the material. 25. Yeah, okay. Oh, what are you Died? Died? Yeah, the head went flying off. No way. Oh. Hey! 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 Oh, that's cool. Who sent you that? You got it? Eric, help me with these stickers. Get them all. Which oh. Hey, no, don't put it on there. Go back to the yard, put that on that Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this guy custom made this to fit one. right here. That, that was a good one. one. That was a good one. <laughs> Not a yeah. Oh, snap. This is from uh, Michael from Pennsylvania. Oh, thank you. Yep. Bugs, thanks you. Somebody sent you that? Yeah. Right That's on. pretty cool. He said it's for the whacker. <laughs> Get on there somewhat straight. You need a level. Yeah, really. <laughs> straight like a little torpedo. <laughs> Measuring. Boom. <laughs> Nobody will ever take your stuff one more bug. <laughs> look at look at that. Well, I just called my civil engineer for the building and said he said he's leaving for Alaska for the next two weeks. He'll be unavailable. <laughs> and the guy that's doing the bid for the building obviously needs the civil engineering done because he shows all the utilities and he needs that drawing done so he can put numbers to the utilities. So everything is very very slow at this point. It's just like weeks and weeks and weeks pass and like nothing gets done. This is not what I'm used to. I'm used to getting stuff done quick, 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 quick. All right, let's get it done tomorrow. Let's get it done next week. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what I'm saying, Jay? You're at the end of your rope, just like me. Okay, don't jump. And I'll stop it, don't jump. Come here and sit. Sit, sit nice. Jade, sit down, man. You're not listening to me for nothing. It raised back. All right, we're gonna start grading now, finally. Oh man, there's hardly any gravel in there. I hope there's enough gravel. That's a light load. Yeah, so light. How much? 
guy overloaded me. He overloaded me a lot. He told me to dump it off. He overloaded you? Yeah. So oh, then, so then you I dumped went back too much scale. off. They said I didn't lose load. And I was like, we gotta get 21 tons. I went back, he overloaded me again. That's what yeah. took so long. I was like, forget it. I'm going. Like, that, that was day. That guy, he was so really how many? mad. He was like, whoa, I, I got so much. You can't keep it. I was like, man, forget it. I'm good. I'm so you guys almost fought? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to fight. <laughs> well, you might need to go back there uh, if this ain't enough, because it's a light load. Yeah. It's not a hardly three quarter of load. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Ryan, he can finish this up. I gotta call Spectrum again because nobody's come and it's been a long time. I had it all set up. They said to be here in 20 minutes. That was like an hour and something ago. Now I'll probably call and they'll be like, I don't know who this is, who are you? You can go. Those guys going to another job? Uh, gonna go work at the land. Oh, okay. All right, brother, thank you. Yep, see you in the morning. Yep. Okay. Uh, should be within the, like, the first 15 to 20 minutes of when this call drops. All right. Uh, for sure, um, as soon as possible. So okay, that's the second request I put in. It's been an hour and a half. They told me the guy was on the way, be there within, be here within 20 minutes, and he didn't come. So I just put in another request. So they're going to call me again within 30 minutes or so and let me know, know when the guy's coming out again, I guess. We are all done and cleaned up. Hey! Put caution tape all the way around here so the kids don't fall in the pins. Caution tape all the way around here. But yeah, we're ready to pour. Just needs reinforcement and that's it. So, guy's gonna have to build that side up with topsoil pretty good. This side, this side works out perfect with this sod and everything he's got going on. This elevation is perfect, but I gotta have a little bit of pitch. I mean, it has hardly anything, but it is coming this way. And that's just where it ends up. It's pretty good up there once they fill in the the low spot but up here they're gonna need you know probably five inches of dirt buy it look how he steps <laughs> <laughs> the reverse hey he lean with it yeah you got good moves man i can't believe the internet guy yeah, still didn't come man they were supposed to be here a long time ago what happened what did they tell you now they're gonna call me back again oh just hook it back up dude oh she's probably mad yeah because i told her it was going to be fixed in half an hour now it's been an hour and a half and the guy's not even on the way yet yeah just get the tools and do it myself For real? that would be nice just clap it choom, choom. yeah it. choom choom you really need a steak all right they're calling me again okay so i just went through this process earlier this is a daycare and their access control is controlled by the internet. So we need to fix it as soon as possible. So I called her the same process. I called her the same process. About an hour and a half ago. And she said, there was a guy who just said, I'm going to wait for an hour and a half. And we came. So, you know, that's the question is where, where is he? Man, this cable line is just not going good. I got to stop in my house to get my checkbook for MacGyver before he gives me the pal out of the winter shop. Yeah. I'll meet you at the land. Land then? Or you want me to get gravel then land? Yeah, gravel and then land. Just a half a load. We don't need a lot. Same angry guy though? No, I'm not going there. <laughs> yeah, but if you fill it up, I'm gonna have to pay for the weight that's already in here. No way, I know I'm gonna get a weight. You're gonna scale in? Yeah, I'm gonna scale in. Okay, that's fine. Everybody's here. You been here? Once. Once, yeah. I really don't have a plan. I just came over here to just chill. <laughs> Take it easy, man. This thing's good luck. 
<laughs> if you, if you scare me, man. If you kill the elephant, the I, business will go under right away. Huh? All right, the internet guy's on his way there finally now. Huh? Uh, grab me a tape measure and some paint. And some pins? Paint. Well, yeah, we are going to need pins too. Basically, we're going to set a patio back here in parking spot, and then we're going to clean this out. What? Nothing. What's so yeah. funny, Ray? Nothing. Funny. Okay. Nothing Just happy? Yeah. <laughs> Ray's literally the happiest guy I've ever met. Even when he's having a bad day, like he's still happy. It's unbelievable. Okay, so what we're going to do is. Not today, but tomorrow. I gotta get a generator later today. I have no power to even run the grinder or anything. So I'm gonna get a generator today. Tomorrow we're gonna cut this off. I'm gonna establish some heights. And then uh, we're gonna pour a cap over this floor because right now it all pitches that way. And that's no good. So we're gonna level it off, put a new floor in here. And then we can start putting shelving in here. We're gonna rip all this down, obviously. We don't need all this. There'll be a new box here, just a small one for the electricity. Back here, what I want to do is I want to pour a small patio uh, just for us to, you know, have lunch, put a table and chairs, relax, whatever. I'm gonna stamp it out with some. Once I saw that rustic barn wood yesterday, I knew for sure I was gonna do it here. <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna do a rustic barn wood patio back here. <laughs> This is our lunch room right here. That's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna put a table and chairs and then a barnwood patio right here. Yep. So whenever we're done working or whatever, cause we're gonna have a refrigerator and everything, we can get some drinks and and just relax. You think if I went over a, a foot over the lot line, anybody would care? Not if you give free coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'll call a railroad. Yeah. Free coffee for all you guys, anytime you want. Anytime you stop by, just stop by here. 14's a little short, you know what I'm saying? It is. Because we need a table and chairs. Because we can still put, when I build, I can still fit a sit, silt fence here. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm worried about. It's only temporary, a couple years, you know? Yeah. I mean, the worst you can have is you gotta turn it down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or just cut it off a foot. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm looking at the lot line marker, if I line this all up, uh, we're not over a foot. We're right on the lot line right now. That's right on the lot line, never mind. That's perfect. Okay, I established a, a new height of the garage floor, I call it garage, whatever. So there it is there. The red chalk line. I'm gonna have to scratch this down just a little bit, it looks like, so we can get some forms in here. You got a sledgehammer? Just a small one for pins. That'll work, the old school. Yeah. Let's see, just I'm gonna grab the skid loader and just take this side down just a little bit. And then I'll show you what else I'm gonna do too in the front while we're at it with some concrete. So in the front, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little planter here. Come off this corner here. Oh, I thought you were making an addition. An addition? Yeah. No, not on this building. So I wanna do something like that. And then do like a, it's going to be a piece of concrete like eight inches wide. And then we're going to put the flag pole right here. And then we'll just put some mulch and a few flowers in there. That'll look nice, right? With the flag right up above the building. And then uh, maybe I'll put the flag a little farther back. Because then I can... And I can put a, a light right there, shining right up on the flag. And you have a boxing ring. Boxing ring? Oh, Ray. What? Ray, why do you want to fight so bad? He's the happiest guy ever, but he wants to beat everybody. Pow, pow! With a smile on his face. I'm gonna, I'll take a scoop out of here. It's gotta go a little bit. This'll just take a minute to dig that out. Just take me 30 seconds. pins and strings and get these guys going on this oh if you got a mask you got to have a mask you got to pick up all the big stuff though that's right <laughs> Tino said go home 
They said don't bring that dog back here. They said that? Yeah. There's gonna be places that are gonna like that. Well, especially a daycare. I was thinking this. I told Bugs, I said, put it way in the back behind the bushes where they're not gonna see it. Cause I said, they're, they're gonna have a problem with a pit bull at a daycare. Yeah. He's like, got you brother. And then he puts it right there where everybody can see it. Yeah, we gotta take the garbage with us. There's another thing there. You can fill that up too. Brian. Let all that settle and then let's pick up what we can and then finish blowing it up. Yeah, build a box here. All the way? Yeah, and make it square all the way like that. Because I got a still trench here. I got to put a pipe here for electric. Okay. Don't breathe that in. No, I'm trying to. Yeah, don't breathe that dust in over there. Start over here until you, maybe go over there until, he, uh, until he's done. Start on this side. That dust is bad news. You could tell just by smelling it. Yeah. Don't breathe it in, Ray. You could die immediately. Just one breath, pow! All right, it's all strung up. That's basically gonna be the patio right there. It'll be fine, we'll have a table here, some chairs, and then we can probably do like a, a little portable fire pit right here. Or maybe over there. We'll do the fire pit right there. All right, I'm gonna leave these guys alone. I gotta run them do a bunch of stuff still today. Hey, I'm gonna leave, so I'll set this up. Uh, I won't have Ray nail that one in yet, because how are you gonna get the skidsteer in here with gravel? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so listen to me, Ryan. So the trailer and the bobcat and all that can stay here, because we're pouring that sidewalk over there, and then we're just coming over here tomorrow. So you don't need to load everything. Grade this real nice, get finished cleaning <laughs> that out, and that's really all that you're gonna do. And then you guys can go. I gotta leave now, I got tons of stuff to do. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Adios. I'm gonna get a generator. I'm gonna get a nice Honda generator, one of them smaller ones. Something that I can just have forever, you know? There's times you need a generator and the only one I have is humongous. Super hard to move around. So I'm gonna get a nice Honda generator and then we'll have power over here. I'll cut all these off with a grinder. A torch would actually be nice, but I don't, I don't have, it's, I don't have this. My torches aren't working, I have torches. But they're not full, I don't have tips, it'll just be easier to do that. I gotta get this thing out of here. Hopefully there's no gas in that pipe, otherwise kaboomski. But that'll be all right. I'll just send Ryan in here to do it. All right, this is it. Flag Express, AmericanFlagsExpress.com. Let's go check this out. We need a nice American flag for the land. This isn't gonna be the forever flag, but I need something while we're building. Once I put up my own building, I'm gonna get a giant flag. But right now we're just gonna get something, something decent. All right. Is Devin here? I'm right here. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Do you got any American great. flags that aren't made in China? Tell me the truth. Yeah. All right. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, all made here. Uh, well, whatever's durable. Uh, more, more the durable. Most durable one is gonna be the Polymax one. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be more wind resistant. Yeah, I don't want it to be tearing and, and yeah. having to worry about replacing it all the time. Yeah, Something that'll last right. the longest. Yeah. Three by five, just a three by five. And a twenty foot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. But I need everything. I need the pole because I'm gonna set it in concrete on Friday. So. Okay. I want to buy it right away. Let's see how much that is a twenty footer. Is there like a sleeve that I anchor in the concrete then? Yes. Yes, the ground sleeve. And you have all that stuff in stock. Yep. All right, perfect. Good. No, the big one's coming when I build my building. Oh, I see. Yeah, this okay. is just temporary. All right. Yeah, I'm going to get a giant one. Whatever Menominee Falls tells me I can put up, I'm putting up. Oh, really? A great yeah, big one. great yeah. big one. Do you guys do custom flags just for future reference? We do, Cause, yes. Because I'll need a victory flag once I do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That'll be cool. That yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. That sounds good. That's the sleeve included? Yep. Well, let's do it. That's great. Thank you. All right, made in the U.S. Joke. All right. She is. Okay, you gonna carry it out? Sure, I'll do that. I'll hold the door. Yeah. <laughs> Those telescoping ones are nice. Yeah, it does seem nice. That's good. Okay. I can put this like this. All right, right thank sir. you. All right, see you later. Yeah, yep. take care. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna run out to MacGyver and give him his rent check. 
because I am way late on rent. It's not because I don't have the money. It's just that I didn't have the time to run out there and give it to them. So take care of that now. Over here by Fleet Farm. I think they have the generator that I want. I'm not positive. I'm looking for a specific generator, a Honda. And I think I, I have seen them here in the past. We'll find out. This is the one right here. Honda generator. How much is this thing? So they have the 3000 and the 2200. I don't see this one here though. I wonder if they actually have it or not. I just want something I can grab and go, you know, something light. I'm not trying to run a whole bunch of stuff on it. You know, maybe a saw or whatever. Light here and there. All right. Is this where all the generators are? Uh, I think so. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab a cart. Seems like a deal. All right. So we got the Honda generator. That's the one that I wanted. I've heard nothing but good things about those. And then you have an option with those particular generators where if you need more power, you can actually hook two of those generators together, which is pretty awesome if you ever need it, which I doubt that I ever will. Okay, I'm over here at Home Depot. This is my last stop of the day, and I'm gonna pick up a shop vac. Um, I need to use it at the land. There's some coolant in some of those pipes. I wanna suck the coolant out before I cut them off so I don't breathe in that smoke. I could have got a shop vac from Fleet Farm where I was. However, there was a guy in the store and I was just minding my own business, gonna buy a generator. And then he goes, what's with the GoPro? And he, he's at the gun counter looking at guns to buy. And I told him, I said, I make online videos. And then he said something like, uh, uh, you get permission from the people that are in your videos. And I told him, I don't need permission. We're in a public place. So we got into it a little bit, went back and forth. Um, he just wanted to argue with me. So I decided it was best for me to not stick around. He was looking at guns. I knew he'd be there for a while. So I just bought the generator and I left. You never know if we're walking out of the store at the same time. Sometimes it's just you know those things can get out of hand they escalate and all of a sudden you know something bad happens so came over to here to home depot and gonna pick that up and let me just clarify about videoing anywhere in public you can video i can wear this camera i can stick it right in somebody's face not that i do i can stick it right in their face and legally there's nothing that they can do about it if it's a private business like home depot or any businesses even fleet farm where i was just in if they post it on the door that they don't want any videoing uh you can't video so private businesses have that right to not have you video in their place of business however there's hardly any businesses that post it also if the manager of the store or business comes up to you and asks you not to video verbally you can't video but other than that you can video anywhere that you want to i think that guy um you know just like a privacy guy or whatever some people are, are pretty weird about stuff and that's not the way to ask somebody if they're videoing you don't you know just be all cocky and want to start an argument with people it's, it's silly uh if i had to guess i would say he's probably buying wife or guns that his wife doesn't approve of and he was probably worried that his, if his wife saw the video online that she would give him the pow so that's probably why i was freaking out i'm just guessing but regardless whatever the reason uh that's what happened so all right, I want to go check out a shop vac. I'm not getting a really good one. I'm just getting a cheap one because it's going to get disgusting when I vacuum that stuff out of there. And uh, it'll probably just get limited use. So we'll go see what they got. Uh, this is everything they have here. Mostly the rigid. These are the bigger ones. Smaller, smaller, smaller. A stinger. And then I got this thing that clips onto the top of a five-gallon pail. I wonder how that works. Buckethead. <laughs> Man, I'm tempted to try it. It's only 30 bucks. But really, all I need to do is clean that coolant out of those pipes. Mmm. Man. <laughs> I'm just not convinced this thing's even going to work. It looks so chintzy. I'm going with the stinger. Sorry, Buckethead. Depot. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Our crane friends are here. Birds are so cool. They started, there was a nesting pair that started nesting and basically in our neighborhood or backyard years ago. And they come back every year to the same spot. And then all of a sudden they'll have babies and then their babies grow and it's just a continual cycle. 
the crane just like to hang out in our neighborhood. I don't know why. That amazes me how birds can fly south for the winter and come back to the same exact house. How do they know where the house is? That blows me away. When I've been in an airplane, I haven't been in an airplane many times, but the times I have, we'll be flying over Milwaukee, which I'm super familiar with. And I can't even find stuff. I can't even pick stuff out. It, like you have to look and you get confused and you think something is there and it's not what you thought. But birds somehow can fly to Florida or wherever they go, Mexico, down south, somewhere where it's warm, and they can find your exact house when they fly back. Hi. Hi. What are you guys doing? Painting? Yeah. Mom's working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. See all the lights in? I almost got in a fight at Farm and Flea. I almost had to give the guy the pack.